Okay, this how-to video is going to talk you through how to use the via-to-via -via line fattening command that's available inside the Cadence PCB tools. So this command will um, effectively increase the thickness of the C line, so these little C line segments here, um, between blind and buried wires, micro wires, etc., to the thickness of the smallest wire. Um, the, main re the main reason for this um, could be to stop any manufacturing DFM issues you might see, whether that be an acid trap or a sliver or something, because in this scenario or in many scenarios, the, the wires may be touching or maybe very, very, a very small gap between them. Um, and you do have the, issue, the, the, the potential issue here of, of creating an acid trap. So we want to be able to kind of stop that type of issue happening. So what we can do is we can run this from the root menu under the resize, respace. There's an option called via to via line fattening. So in the, the, the menu that comes up, we can specify the maximum via to via spacing. So let's just put this in as a, a millimeter for now. Um, we can potentially waive any impedance or max line width DRCs um, because maybe the manufacturing process is probably more important than worrying about an impedance for a track that's kind of this kind of distance long. Um, I don't suppose it would have a, a, a huge issue effect on the impedance, but it's worthwhile kind of considering whether you enable this or not. So I'm going to enable it. Um, and you can either do the entire design or selected C line. So I'll just run it on the entire design because it's a, like, almost like a pre -pro post process command. I can then run the fattener and it will obviously, it's increased all the thicknesses of the C lines here and here. And it's also done it in the scenarios where it can.